My name is Mary Jo Beeman, and I'm the Childbirth Educator for Women's Hospital. Women's Hospital provides a hospital gown for the mothers when they come in, in labor. When they come to the room, they'll um, give this to her to put on. Um, they'll also have green non-skid socks available if she wants to wear those if her feet get cold. And if she requests it, they have lip balm if her lips are dry and stuff from breathing. Also, after birth, your baby will be put skin to skin on mom and they'll give a little uh, hat, give her a little hat to put on and then cover you both up with the blanket so that mother's body heat helps keep baby warm and that special time of bonding, um, really that's all we do. But for the duration of the hospital stay, we provide all the necessities for baby. So we also have lightweight receiving blankets. We'll have all the diapers. We have little um, diaper shirts that can be worn and provide the uh, wipes, the baby comb, bulb syringe, and baby wash for baby's first bath. So there's also a little emery board that will be in your baby's bassinet. If they have long fingernails and they're scratching themselves, this is the best way to keep their nails short. So, but mothers, if they prefer, they are welcome to bring baby clothes to put on for cute pictures. Once they get the baby um, uh, dry and cleaned up, if they want to change and put on clothes, that's fine. We do recommend packing a separate smaller like tote bag for labor and delivery and then an overnighter or a weekender case for your couple of days on postpartum. And the best thing to do would be to only bring in your labor and delivery bag when you come into the hospital and labor because otherwise your support person is going to have to lug that suitcase all over the hospital. So if you'll leave your postpartum suitcase and the car seat and any other items like door decorations or things like that, just leave that in the car until you get to your mother baby room. That'll really be easiest for you. Well, in your labor and delivery bag, one of the things that's most important for most people is their phone. This can be helpful during labor. You can set up a playlist of music that's calming and soothing during labor for you to listen to. And if you have wireless headphones, that can also be a really nice addition during labor. That way you can listen, but if nobody else wants to, um, it's fine. And after delivery, you can hold your sweet baby and have hands-free talking to family about the birth and about your new baby. Um, but one thing that's going to be essential is charger cords. When you bring your phone, don't forget to pack your charger cords because if it dies, then there's no way to keep the information stream going. And it's also important, sometimes when you're packing these bags, put your post-it note on the outside of your bag if there are things that you can't pack until the last minute. For instance, phone or maybe charger cords. And that way it'll remind you so you don't forget it. Mothers who have long hair may also want to pack some hair bands or hair ties so that their hair is not hot around their neck during labor. And along the same line, since mom usually is hot due to hormones, having a little handheld fan, some of those that are battery operated also have a place you can humidify by putting a little water so it's a cool mist in the back. Um, if you wear glasses or contacts, make sure that you bring those. Um, in early labor, if your water hasn't broken and you don't have an epidural and your doctor says it's okay to get up and walk around the room, um, you may want to pack some slippers um, to be able to do that. And if you have a long labor, some mothers want to be able to remove their makeup in the evening and then freshen up maybe with makeup the next morning. So packing your makeup is helpful. Um, if you have a really special camera that has maybe special lenses, you may want to remember to um, pack that, but also make sure you bring the charger along with that so that it won't run down on you. Um, if mothers uh, are able to uh, take clear liquids without being nauseated, 
then they usually will be able to have that during labor. And the hospital provides Sprite, fruit juices, Jello, broth, um, popsicles, and sugar-free and in regular for mom. But one thing that you won't necessarily be able to get here are snacks for your support person. So be sure to include that so that if you have a long labor, they keep their energy up too. Mom may want to bring her favorite pillow from home that's comfy or a warm blanket if she gets cool, a soft blanket. But whatever you bring, make sure that it's not white. Put a, a colorful pillowcase on your pillow so that it doesn't get lost in our laundry. Another thing that some mothers may want to do is bring a focal point that she can um, tape on the wall to, for visualization to focus during her contraction, and that can be helpful as well. Um, our hospital does provide these uh, peanut balls during labor and delivery. They come in three sizes, and they're useful for mom if she's wanting to labor on her side or push on her side. These, uh, her knees go right in the, uh, the indentation, and that allows her pelvis to stay open for the baby's descent. So we have those available. We do not have the round birthing balls, and for mothers who want to use that to sit on or bounce on, you know, rock during labor, you do need a support person um, to make sure that you don't fall, that your um, balance is good, but you are welcome to bring those with you to the hospital. At the hospital, just like in labor and delivery, we have hospital gowns that mothers can choose to wear when they're out on the mother-baby unit. However, they're taking a lot of pictures of the family, and sometimes mothers would prefer to wear their own clothes, and that's perfectly fine. We also have non-skid socks if they don't bring slippers, and we have the soft mesh panties that they can wear um, that are comfortable and keep from soiling their own um, while they're in the hospital. Well, in general, most families are going to bring their phone because they want to be able to contact everybody and share pictures and updates on baby and mom. And uh, what's really important, if you have a phone and want to use it, don't forget your charger. So bring your charger and cord, and a long cord is really helpful too. Um, then if you forget your toiletries, uh, we do have uh, travel size toiletries um, that are available, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, that kind of thing, shampoo, um, but we're not going to have your cosmetics. So if you want to bring some, uh, some of your own cosmetics um, so that you can freshen up and then bring your own set of toiletries um, for your stay, usually um, mothers are going to be here if they have a vaginal delivery uh, two nights, and so normally they'll bring two or three sets of sleepwear if they don't want to wear the hospital gown. Mothers who are nursing might want to bring a nursing gown that makes it easier for them to nurse their babies, or pajamas are really easy to lift up to nurse. Um, but bringing two or three sets of those um, to put in their uh, bag. Um, also, if they're going to be walking in the hall, they might want to bring a robe, and particularly depending on the time of year, a warm robe or um, in the summer, a very light one, and some slippers. Um, if uh, Sometimes women who are going to be out in the public areas would prefer to have loungewear on, like sweatpants and tops, or um, a little uh, t-shirt dress or something that's comfortable. And keeping in mind that after delivery, mom is still probably not going to be able to wear her regular clothes so either something that's loose fitting or something that's still maternity would be more comfortable for her while she's here. Um, she can bring, as far as undergarments, her own panties if she wants to, although the mesh ones I would really recommend for the first couple of days with a Lokia to keep from um, soiling hers. But certainly the day she goes home, she'll probably want to have her own panties and have her own soft bras for support. Now, if you're breastfeeding, getting uh, nursing bras for sleep are really good. And then regular nursing bras that um, clip at the top and open so that she's able to nurse um, are really helpful. Um, so she's prepared with those. 
Um, also for baby, um, if she wants to bring a couple of cute outfits for baby so that she can, little onesies or things for baby so that they can um, make pictures. Now we do provide all of the uh, necessities for baby, the diapers, the wipes, we have t-shirts and little receiving blankets. Also in labor and delivery, they'll put a hat on the baby right after delivery. But if you come out to the mother baby unit and you want to put your cute outfits on your baby the whole time they're here, that is perfectly fine so that they get some cute pictures. Also, the little swaddle blankets that you can buy that have Velcro are really helpful um, to use with your baby. Babies love to be swaddled um, during those first few weeks and um, these are really good for them. So you can pack one of those if you want to in your hospital bag. Um, also for hair, if you're going to be shampooing, you may want to bring your own hair dryer and of course your comb brushes, that kind of thing. And for mothers who tend to get cold feet, you might want to bring your favorite warm socks. But I think that just about covers it on mother. Now dad, we do recommend that you, um, or support person, we do recommend that you pack your own suitcase and stay here and spend the night with mother. There is a cot on the mother baby unit that will pull out um, and we will provide the linens for that. Um, but if you'll pack your own suitcase with clothes and toiletries and whatever you'll need while you're here. And sometimes mother, because of hormones, she's a little bit warm and might want the room kind of cool. So dad, you might want to bring a pullover or something that um, will keep you from getting too cold at night. Last but not least, for the day that you're discharged, have an outfit for mom to go home in, for baby to go home in, along with the receiving blanket, something like that to cover them with, and most importantly, a car seat. Make sure that you have that one ready to go. If it's an infant car seat, you can go ahead and install the base in the car and just bring the infant seat itself into the hospital to put the baby in. We do have little strollers that hook the infant car seat in to wheel you out to your car.